Yeah. 
your starting point guard. And uh, we won by four. Yeah. And we lost by 14. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so, no, he, he's just, you know, he's, he's come a long way. I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. He's matured so much, and, and uh, we had a lot of conversations over the summer, and, and, you know, he understands what he means to this basketball team. And, you know, it, it, he doesn't normally score 18 points. It's just his presence. Uh, on the basketball court, the kids trust him. His, his, his teammates, you know, believe if they if they do the right things, if they be in the right places, he'll get them the basketball when they're supposed to have it. Uh, you know, they really work hard for him. So his presence alone means a lot to us. For a couple games, uh, how good does it feel to be able to play, get a, you know, kind of a second life, and then come out and play like he did? It feels wonderful. It feels, it feels, it feels wonderful. I mean, to all, day, all today I was I was nervous. I was I was calling my dad left and right, trying to see if I was going to be able to play. Teachers is a, teachers asking me from seven o'clock in the morning to two o two if you have have you ever word yet, heard a word yet. I mean, I, I believed in my school. I believed they was going to get me to play this game. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a bad play that I had last game, but you know what I mean. I should have handled it better. I shouldn't have retaliated like I did. I, I apologize to my teammates. I apologize to the school, and you know, good things just help help out. If you got God on your side, because good things just help him. And you know. I'm I'm just blessed. I'm blessed that I was able to play this game. I'm I'm blessed. Referees really let you guys play out there today. Um, it wasn't the typical you drive, you get fouled kind of game that I'm not gonna say we've become accustomed to, but we've seen it a few times. Teams getting into bonus in the first ten minutes of the half. It wasn't like that out there today. It was a game where the most, more physical team was gonna win in the end, and you guys came up with those turnovers, those physical plays at the end. Talk about your preparation coming into this game. Um, I, I mean, I didn't. I really didn't think I was gonna play today. Um, I tell you the truth, guys. I, I really didn't think so. I mean, yesterday they had me on the second team to help my teammates out, to actually make me play like number three for the point. I mean, I was helping them out, trying to get them ready. But you know, the refs was letting us play, and we we just had to fight through it. Coach said, "Fight through it. Don't panic. Just fight through it." I talk, I called on Jordan, Jordan McCain, and he he helped us through. His senior leadership, he helped us through. He got that big and one. He hit the knock. He knocked down crucial free throws for us. And he got us through this W, and we, I'm just happy that we got this W. We're going to the championship now. Congratulations. Well, actually, you know, we just had to defend a little bit. They made some incredible shots throughout this basketball game. Uh, and, and we just, you know, we felt like if we continued to make them t take tough shots, you know, those shots wouldn't fall, you know, later in the game. And, and, and true indeed, they had some wide open looks. Uh, we started to gamble a little bit. They had some wide open looks, but they didn't hit them. The key was we rebounded the basketball. They didn't get second chances at, in the fourth quarter. And then offensively, you know, we got down two possessions with about three minutes, and it looked like we started to panic a little bit. You know, we took a timeout. I told the guys, look, just, just get a stop and don't panic. Just, just be patient offensively, but be aggressive, pick and choose your spots. And, and they did a great job of doing it. So it, that was the difference in the fourth quarter. Our patience offensively and our, you know, our, our defense and rebounding in the fourth quarter is, 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 is the key to the game. The other problem was the free throw shooting. Uh, it, it, what do you attribute that to? Is it because of their crowd? I mean, the, the no, noise in the just, place was. You know, we, we've, tic we've typically shot foul shots extremely well. Right. You yeah, know, 71%, those, I think. It, yeah, yeah. Those, those rims are a little bit tight. Um, you know, there's, there's not a lot of, you know, there's, 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 there's really not a lot behind that backboard. Mm -hmm. And at Potomac, you know, the, the, the backboards are close to the wall, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of stuff behind the backboard. So that depth perception is a little different than it is here. So I, I think that had a lot to do with it, just the environment, uh, the, the makeup of the gym, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that depth perception kind of played a little, little part in us missing foul shots.